I believe that the Little Traverse Bay and the position of Emmett County around the Great Lakes uh, had a lot to do with attracting people to the county who live here, who are very talented. It's been my good experience to work with a lot of people of varied backgrounds and talents. And they all seem to have a similar goal of protecting what we have and uh, making things better for the future. And one of those was the management of solid waste. And there were a couple of landmark decisions that came out of the state of Michigan. Uh, one was the uh, deposit container law, which we refer to as the bottle bill. And the other was the Act 641, the Solid Waste Management Planning Act, which mandated that counties uh, in municipalities get involved in solid waste planning. Well, recycling came up as a very important part of that. The county planner was Max Putters, and he was very instrumental in trying to design a, a facility and looking things up and that sort of thing. And so the uh, county board decided to proceed with doing something about waste management in the, the county. And that was sort of when the, that was when this facility was just a dream. And we're pleased to know that, that we are recognized in the state as one of the first and best managed and uh, have been very active on the state level in, in terms of, of expanding the facility, expanding the, the recyclables that we can, can accept and process. When we first started here, it was a single comp trash compactor taking care of uh, residential and commercial trash. Uh, through a county grant, uh, or a state grant, uh, we built a building which was set empty until the hiring of Elisa Seltzer. And then with the help of a millage uh, from the people of Emmett County, we were able to purchase our first equipment and a truck to service the containers and stuff with. And uh, it's been, we've been on a growth spurt ever since. We've been planning for the growth of our facility since 2005 when we developed a business plan for the expansion for the additional processing. In 2008, we were afforded the opportunity to purchase equipment used from Outagamie County in Appleton, Wisconsin, and this facility served a huge population and we actually disassembled the entire facility worth of equipment, trucked it all over to Emmett County and stored it in a warehouse while we designed and constructed a building to house it. Uh, we began that construction in 2009 with a local contractor called Wangeman Construction providing the construction of the building. And then we worked with Moran Ironworks who took all of that equipment, refurbished it and reinstalled it uh, in the new building. We have become fully operational on June 25th of 2010. This facility is going to allow everyone to recycle more and sort less in our member communities. Uh, if you get curbside recycling, uh, everyone in our curbside district will receive a second bin, which will allow them to recycle many more types of materials. Uh, some of the new materials we'll be taking include plastic tubs, trays, and cups, juice boxes, milk cartons, and paper cups, plastic grocery and bread bags, and frozen food boxes. It's going to be a much simpler sort. Instead of the seven categories before, we now have only two categories. Our papers, boxes, and bags all go in one bin, and mixed containers all go in the other bin. We could not have done this without the support of our county leadership, our county commissioners, our public works board, and very dedicated and enthusiastic staff, and our fabulously supportive community. Um, all working together to make this program what it is today. We are really proud that we have been self-supporting as a department since 1991. We have not received any general fund tax dollars from the county. Um, our vision for the future includes many more things to come, more types of materials, uh, more ease of recycling, and we are really excited to uh, celebrate um, all of these successes with our community. Uh, I don't know what else is in store for us or what's left after all this, but I, I know there's more planned and I hope I'm around long enough to see it.